Blog Talk Radio. radio.com we are the voice for credit and collection management professionals worldwide once again I'm the host for business credit radio and my name is Philip Philbin and our co-host today is mr. Eddie Sumar from beautiful Southern California how's it out there today Eddie at this moment, Phil, first of all, good morning. Good morning to our listeners, or good afternoon, wherever they are in the world. Yes, uh, today it's cloudy, 66 degrees in sunny California right now. Well, callers, that's another thing we've got to bring to your attention. Uh, as you can imagine, it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon here in Chicago and various times elsewhere. You have an excellent opportunity to just pick up the phone if you've got a question for our guest speaker or myself or Eddie. Uh, we'll be happy to bring you right on. Dial 347-989-8342. You know, I've never known credit management people to be shy before, but I'll tell you what, it's like pulling teeth trying to get some of these guys to call us. And I know you got questions, and we're here to answer them. That's what this whole show is all about. It's all for you. Business Credit Radio is honored to welcome again the return of Cortera CEO Jim Swift to discover, discover, discovering Sir Cortera, excuse me, business behavior insights and how Cortera is transforming the B2B world by becoming the go-to source for insight into business behavior. Thousands of companies across diverse industries already use Cortera solutions to increase revenue, improve sales, and market effectiveness, and reduce risk. Sorry, the credit the company tracks 1.6 trillion in business to business purchases across 45 spend categories, as well as other data sources including news, social media, and public records. To deliver insights on 20 million U.S. businesses, get a peek at the topics to be discussed by checking out the latest Cortera Earbook, uh, Earbook, <laughs> ebook, Business Behavior Insights where to turn when traditional credit data isn't enough. Cortero will once again be one of the highlight exhibitors at the NACM's 117th Credit Congress and Exposition 2013 at the Rio Hotel in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, on May 19th through the 22nd. Check out their booth in the Expo Hall and mention Business Credit Radio. Today's program discussion is Discovering Cortero's Business Behavior Insights Everybody, please, welcome Jim Swift. Thanks, Jim, for coming on again. Thanks, Phil. I took a breath. We're ready. <laughs> How Hi, <does> Eddie. It... <laughs> Go to the recession, increase the pressure on credit risk professionals. How does that happen? Well, uh, the recession smacked businesses pretty hard. And uh, every year for the last 15 years or more, uh, more than 500,000 companies uh, have closed in the, in the U.S., and during the recession, 2008-2009, it, it spiked uh, nearly 700,000 businesses closed. And it's good to see that we're coming through that now, but um, I think there are a couple of areas where, um, where credit managers are, are feeling a little bit of heat. And the, the first one is that um, in, over the course of the recession, companies became pretty frugal. They're trying to uh, reduce expenses as much as they could in order to weather the storm. And as the economy improves, what we're seeing is that companies are reluctant to add back the expenses in the jobs that they eliminated as part of the cost cutting. And I think that hits home with the credit manager who's being asked to do more with less resource. Uh, and we don't see their budgets getting increased. So they've got to, they've got to deal with that. Uh, the second dynamic I think that, uh, that's interesting is that the recession really changed a lot of companies. For some, it made them, uh, it put them under a lot of stress and it made them weaker. And for others, I think it uh, galvanized them a bit and they're probably stronger for it. But they're different than they were five years ago. And so as a credit manager, uh, you're really um, looking for predictability. 
and understanding what your customers have done with you in the past and using that as an indication of what's going to happen in the future and then using that as your baseline and looking for new clues about what's going on in the company that would suggest they're, they're getting off into a different path. And I think part of the problem now is so many companies have changed that our baselines that we've used as those reference points in making ongoing credit decisions about them need to be adjusted as well. The problem is we don't have more resources to do it, so we have even more work and we have less, uh, less time and less manpower and less money to, uh, to deal with the problem. So Let me the, jump the, here real quick, ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, uh, maybe you can help out too. Uh, recession has increased the pressure on credit risk professionals, right? Um, what type of businesses? You said a whole bunch of them went out of business. Yeah, uh, boy, do we know it. The question I would have is, do you have any statistics on what type of business, what industry was hit the worst? Was it service? Was it manufacturing? Or was it all the above? Do you have any statistics on that, Eddie? I haven't seen statistics, but in my area, because uh, it's regional, like some areas, construction was hardly hit because of the mortgage and the uh, housing industry. But healthcare is booming in my area. Kaiser Permanente is building hospitals and clinics and so forth. So that means when we talk about the recession, it's not going to be uniform platform. Some areas, some industries are booming. Like Las Vegas got a hit at the beginning. The casinos got a hit at the beginning of uh, the uh, meltdown. But now, all of a sudden, on TV, I see that a lot of the casinos are advertising. So there is now a surge in, game, in, in the gaming industry. But not all uh, over the United States. Uh, restaurants. I had several restaurants in the Inland Empire area closed within six to eight months uh, in 2009. I, my favorite Chinese restaurant closed. First, they went down to four days, three days, only lunches, and then they went out of business. So restaurants were affected. Retail were affected at some point. So really, but in some areas, uh, some industries uh, uh, were booming. Healthcare is one of the industries. Believe it or not, some aviation sectors were booming. Some aviation sectors were down. So I haven't seen the uh, detailed statistics. But uh, what I heard and I saw from my experience, it was regional. What do you think, Jim? Um, I don't have the statistics on... Uh, the closures by industry, uh, those stats come out of the Small Business Administration. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen what the breakdowns are. In our data, though, and working with, um, with a variety of different companies, we saw the construction. We hope you enjoy this edited version from one of our episodes on Business Credit Radio. You can hear the whole volume of this episode by going to www.blogtalkradio.com slash credit pros. I'm Phil Philbin, the talk show host for Business Credit Radio, and we'll leave the phone lines open for you. 